Shore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Sweet Peas showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Right. Just the opening it. round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. <laughs> through this round here. Able to dismiss that body shot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Last 10 seconds of this first round. End of round one. Sweet P's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Relax, relax. I right, just let it go, all right? You're taking a beat. Now, come on. Come on. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep moving. Scored well with the hook. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut.
scored well with that right hand to the body. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Halfway through round number two. Sweet Peas movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. I see us. Like what I see in there. Good job protecting himself. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Solid left hand. Good job. The danger there. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Just what he needed. The bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Let's go. There he is up on his toes, ready to go here. Wow, is he defensively sound. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Sweet P. Able to dismiss it. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Sweet Pea's in there clinching more now, it seems, Teddy. Is it me, or do you think he's clinching more after being hurt earlier? Well, I think I'm watching a movie where, you know, in those prison of war movies where they give you sodium pentothal. I think that's what the truth serum was called. And he's telling me the truth right now. Yeah, he is clinching more. He's not right. He just missed that shot up top. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Keep that head moving. Last 10 seconds of round number three. He's winning the fight. He's winning. There you go. You gotta take it to him in this round. You gotta bring it. The left hook is working good. Just take it to him. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. Assert your punches. Sweet Peas enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Sweet Pea. Commits to the straight right.
He missed that uppercut. Oh, God! His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Hey, keep your hands Four. by Sweet P. Is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Get out of there. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink, a little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt and now all of a sudden all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. Work the body! Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Nice block. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's okay. Sweet, he's getting Take himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Uh, Not able to land the headshot. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Round comes to an end, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw but to win rounds. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Some bad intentions on that jab by Sweet Pea. Up top with the right hand. Finish with a hook. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. There's that right hand he scores with. A solid uppercut by Sweet P. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the take. Yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. You it's very important power. in this kind of fight, finish up good on. at the Talk end of the, the round. Bottom up, right? Bottom up. Turn those punches over. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy never felt a beating like that. 
It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Sweet Pea's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Little head hunting with the left. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Sweet Peas scoring with that right hand. Just missed with that punch. Move your head. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, right. it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. Beating. If you throw three or four punches in a row, you can turn this around. But you have to let it go. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Sweet Peas back to business right now. The entire first half of this fight completely went his way. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Sweet Peas having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots. Solid shot. The left hand came in. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Hey, hey, let's go. Face yourself. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. You want this fight? Listen, you want this fight? We got it. You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches. Left, right, left, right.
All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. We got it. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. All right. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. You gotta tighten up your punches. Start of round eight. Teddy's got in a close fight. Sweet Pea's enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent has been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, Joe. He's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Blocks that belt line well. Relax, relax. What's the hook? Throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Hey, gotta see that coming, let's go! 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Hey, keep your feet moving! He scores with the jab. Ten seconds. Flush right hand to the body. And that's the end of round eight. Sweet Pea's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool, securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. How are you feeling? You're not winning this fight, this guy. You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one. You don't need that. Don't throw that away. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily, and for a minute, he let up, and bang. Nice Keep block moving. by Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned. Boom, left hand comes home. Comes with the right. He is staggered and stumbling. And he just holds on there. Good work defensively by Sweet Pea. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Sweet Pea's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Well off the mark by Sweet Peas. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine.
The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. His legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question. In the last round, he was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good shin all the time, being able to shake off a good blow, but this is part of having a good shin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. comes back with the left hand again. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Do that again! <laughs> nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. And yet another body shot lands. He's gone to the body much more than he's gone to the head. Well, it made sense going into this fight because the body was going to be there. He moves his head a little bit. Downstairs, that doesn't move. Wow, nice flush left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. That's a big shot to the body right there. And it's got him down and in pain. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Move. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And that does it for this round. Hit him with a couple of quick shots, then drop some power on him, right? Now listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. All right, relax, relax. You're leaving yourself open now. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Start of round number 11. Sweet Peas up on Teddy's scorecard. Just six minutes to go in this fight, Teddy. I assume at this point, just take some good advice from your corner and secure this win. Yeah, you have the winning lottery ticket in your hand. Don't throw it in the garbage. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. Come on, Sweet P's showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Halfway through this 11th round. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A battering shot by Sweet Pea. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Focus! You need 
need to keep that head moving. Now hugging on the inside. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there as soon as you... It is the final round. Here they go. Back to the body. Good defense, just covering up down low. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but... If you could, you'd tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Good looking jab there. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. That's a bitter hook by Sweet Pea. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. That's it. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Sweet Pea. to go in this the final round <laughs> completely one-sided fight at least that's the way we saw it yeah I mean if you saw it any other way you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight kind of like on a pack of cigarettes you know this could be hazardous to your health I mean these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way here's the official decision This was a sure and steady effort by Sweet Pea tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be a knockout or a unanimous decision? We got it the right way. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.